first out of the red corner from the Westwood Boys Club, Larry Brennan. Brennan. And fighting out of the blue corner, representing the University of Kentucky, fighting out of legends, Shevin Kennedy. All right, so here's the backstory. I only trained a week for this fight. Really needed about two to three weeks of conditioning for this fight. Leave a comment below on who you think won this fight, me or Chef. Come on, Neil. Thank you, Neil. Thank you. Hell, flank him. Let's go. Get that right. Let's go, Hell. Pivot, pivot. Come on, Hill. That's it. That's it. Go. I had been watching a little bit too much Floyd Mayweather Jr. film study and I was in more of a defensive fighter kind of mood. You know, stick and move, counter, stick and move, counter, stick and move, counter. But really, I should just went in for the kill here and like just knocked him out. But the dude really did have a good chin and a lot of heart. Beating that boy right hands all night. Jump, jump, jump. Watch this beautiful counter. Bam! On the chin. Into here. Let's go, Al. Into here. Watch this in slow motion, man. Check out this left hook, counter, and right hand combo. Slip hard to the inside, the left hook counter, right hand behind it. Boom. There you go, come on! In it here, Al, in it this round! I just want you guys to know, like, none of his punches are landing. Like, I am blocking everything. And I mean everything. But he looks busy, and they gave him this win because he looked busy. If it had been a pro fight, you know, I would have won on points easy. Plus, it would have been longer, and he would have got tired in the later rounds, and I would have just absolutely started teeing off. I should have knocked him out anyways in this fight. Come on, we need you now. Come on, push through. 
Christian, come on, man. Lay it something, come on. Regardless of what the audience is saying, I am not hurt one bit, and the dude didn't even land no body punches to hurt me in the body anyways. And I'm just catching his punches off my gloves. But the ref, you know, he gives me an eight count. We're fighting in that boy's gym. A little bit of home cooking kind of going on. The ref's actually supposed to tell you to throw punches back if you're not punching, if he feels that you're harmed. But it is what it is. They gave him that round, even though I'm the more skilled and I was landing, landing the cleaner punches. Come on, right hand one time. Come on, hell. Come on. Let's go. If I could go back, I'd throw in some less power punches and a little bit more just speed punches just to win on points. Because then power punches really take a lot of gas out of you. And I'll start to get a little bit tired here, but I recover a little bit in the third round. You gotta keep going! Come on! Come on! Don't quit out! Actually, I think I break his nose off this counter punch right here. Is I remember it's towards the end of the second round, and I remember I was countering off of one of his punches and I stepped to my left and threw a hard right hand. And I pretty sure I broke his nose and started bleeding, but the bell rang and they doctored him up in his corner. And I stay in the pocket, staying calm, and I throw a couple counters and I connect with the right hand right there. And he misses that second to last punch right there actually there you go Come on. So check this. He just absolutely cannot hit me whatsoever. Watch this. Slip. Slip. Throw the left hand counter here. Loaded up on it. Just barely missed him. Clipped him on the shoulder. And then I shoot back with his right hand. Catch him clean again. This is like the 95th clean power punch. The dude had a chin on him. I will give him that. He had a chin and heart. <laughs> And it would have helped out a whole lot if I'd been actually in shape shape instead of just one week winging it. But, you know, I want to get another fight in. It's kind of hard for me to find fights around where I live. Boxing's not that popular. And I just wanted to fight. My coach asked me, and I felt confident. I had a good time. It was a good learning experience. It's just if I would have had more gas in my tank to throw more power shots, I would have knocked him out. This is about his only decent punch he lands all night right here coming up. That's not even a really good punch. It's this one right there. That's about it. It's off my glove anyways, but that's about the only decent punch that he ever landed. Come on, huh? One of the big differences between me and him was he would throw a lot of pity powder punches that, like, had no power on him at all and i just sit and wait and catch his punches and then i'd throw big power shots and i guess the judges liked his favor a little bit better make sure to like and subscribe to my youtube channel also leave a comment below on who you think won this fight Knockouts in amateur boxing are kind of rare. Maybe if we didn't have headgear on, I would have put him away earlier. But that last shot right before the bell is a really big shot. Like, I know he had to have a concussion after that fight because I hit him super hard multiple times. <laughs>